morning. Um, as you probably can see behind me, I had to come back to the fairy tale forest. Um, it's very early and they called me a bad cold on my last hunt, which uh, only took place two days ago, so um, I don't know how it's going to turn out today. Um, Listen to the silence, it's amazing. Yeah, there are some church bells in the background, but despite that, it's, it's, uh, it's amazing. All right, um, my first find is um, what appears to be a pin of some sort. And uh, there is a little fella with a rucksack and a, what seems to be a spear or walking stick and there's writing it's DPB so I don't have any clue what that means it's ooh, probably it's silver or silver plated the back side is uh, don't know yeah it was a pin no no button um, at least it's silver plated that's a nice first target Moving on. Well, that's the first for me. Um, found some binoculars. I doubt they're very old. But anyway... Hmm. But anyway, don't know. I clean them and show you. In its days these used to be um, quality binoculars. As you can see it's from the company Carl Zeiss Jena which is uh, known for their uh, quality binoculars and all the <sighs> technical stuff which has to do with uh, grinded lenses and the it's 6x30 and it was called Silver Mar. So this gives me some hints to research what year they're from. Well, anyway, whew, nearly like new. Um, you can't see through though, uh, there is a plant <laughs> growing inside of one of the lenses and the other one is totally dirty but perhaps you can uh, you know clean them anyway nice find moving on I found a little coin spill but um, look at that I don't know what kind of coins they are they they look like zinc but they're far too thin and they give a 65 signal at 18 kilohertz that indicates copper um, and there are still more two or three targets more um, perhaps there is one which is readable if the other signals are coins so um, I'll dig it and show you oh look at that unfortunately you can't see anything on it nearly anything here you can see a little crossy thing there I can see some writing and there as well but I can't decipher it here in the woods unfortunately here I can see a bust yeah it looks like uh, Rudolf Hess <laughs> but certainly he ain't this one okay I will Examine this one with the magnifying glass and unfortunately they're uh, brittle as hell look uh, that one I just you know put it in my hands and rubbed it with the toothbrush and it crumbled away um, There are still plenty of them uh, in the ground but uh, I'll leave them for next time um, It's amazing um, 
So let's check if I could decipher what year they are. I've never th seen uh, the size of... It's far too big, uh, for uh, far too small for Reichspfennig or something like that. And yeah, uh, enough yada yada. Uh, I try to check this one and get a year of it because this one seems solid. Um, and I'll be back. Okay, it seems like a little bit false alarm. It's not, I guess it's not real money because the only thing I could get off it is the word Spiel here and I think it's Thaler but it's too far gone. Spiel means game, so I guess it's very old. Uh, play money or a game for a game so um, it's all right to leave the rest here look what popped up now I'm, I'm delighted it's a buckle and it's uh, I guess it's the most beautiful buckle I've ever found. Look at that. I don't know, I guess it's Art Nouveau. And it's totally complete. Look at that. There's still the, the I don't know, what's it called? The, the back thingy? Mm. I guess it's a it's a women's buckle because it's so wide. Wow, what a beauty. Yeehaw, moving on. And I guess I found a 50% silver coin again. It has the right size. Yeah, I can read one Reichsmark. Um, Yeah, and I see the eagle. Yeah, I would love to find a three mark piece. They're from the same area. But anyway, I clean it a little bit and uh, show you. It's silver, all right. For 50% percent, percent though, but uh, a nice coin anyway. It's from 1926. The mint mark is A, Berlin. Woohoo, moving on. I found a laughing dolphin. Isn't that cute, huh? It's a child's pendant, I guess. It's very cheap. It's copper plated zinc. With a nice animal. Yeah, quite nice. Moving on. I thought, wow, the biggest silver coin I've ever found, but um, actually I doubt it, because it has a loop, and uh, there's writing on it, it's, it's a pendant of some sort, but I don't know what it is or what it says, I can read Ludwig, uh, yeah, Ludwig, but that's about it, it's not Van Beethoven. On um, the other side is totally crusty, so um, I can't uh, clean it. I, I already, I already tried. So um, it was once silver plated, I guess, or it is silver, and uh, all this muck will come 
would go away, but I doubt it. Um, anyway, nice find. I'm, I'm very interested what it will say. Um, I, I, I know, I don't know. It's getting darker and darker and I have to uh, get back to the car otherwise. I will be lost in the dense forest. All right, hopefully to the next one. Um, I dug a hole and uh, I found a very, very ornate piece of brass. Could be from a, from a key or... Um, oh, I don't know. Nice one. Moving on. Well, good morning. Um, I start my day with a... It was a hellish signal. Um, which might... Uh, be because I'm wearing different headphones today, which is not a good idea. It sounds totally different. But anyway, um, I found a 50 Fennec in aluminum. And the strange thing is it's uh, 1939. I thought, I thought it pre-war, but anyway, it's a uh, Maya. Well, yeah. Okay, moving on. You see me as a happy bastard, <laughs> as Bob's digging it would uh, say. Um, I think I found gold and uh, it was kind of a little spill. And it's strange because there was a coin, it's a Russian one, I'll show you in a second. And what I think is a gold ring. I haven't really looked close at it, but uh, you know how it's how it cleans, it's uh, amazing. I show you. This was all in one hole. This one. Here was the coin, and here was the ring. And uh, if I'm not totally wrong, look at that. That should be gold. It will be 333, three, so only 30% gold, but as far as I... Yo, for sure. Okay, I will check for marks, which uh, I can't see right at the moment. I see inscription. Yeah, it's a wedding band for sure. Perhaps... It's readable, I can see a date. Ah, you should be able to see it as well. Okay, I check for marks and be back. And this, by the way, is a, is a Russian coin. It's 10, 10 kopecks, as you can see now. Um, yeah, I'll be back in a sec. All right, there are marks all over the place. It's as I thought, it's, uh, yeah, you should be able to see it. It reads DRP333, then it's a little, uh, wait, oh, sorry, yeah, no, then it's a little, crest of some kind, a star, and then it's the date, 24, 12, 36, uh, 36, okay, FG, sorry the battery died on me, um, FG, and then there's another date, which is, 23-6-38. I will show you in a picture. So I guess the one is the the date 
for the uh, what's the word in English for Verlobung? Um, where they get engaged. And the second date, the, the, the higher one, is the, the wedding date. So, um, and it's clearly a German ring. Um, what it has to do in a, in, a, in a hole with a Russian coin, I can only imagine. But uh, gold, woohoo! The day starts good, moving on. Now I have a very strange uh, surface find. It was perhaps one centimeter under the ground, and you know, it's uh, some kind of a lid to a metal box, and it's highly decorated. Look at that! And it was once gold plated. It's it's only copper. No, oh, wait a minute. I clean it. All right, here it is. Um, whoa. This would have been lovely if it was intact. I guess it's the lid of a snuff box. You know, the tobacco you... the powder tobacco you put in your nose. Yeah, it's very nice. Very nice, very nice. All right, moving on. Whoa, I found a really big, look at the size and beautiful no, uh, button. And it's a strange one because first I thought, oh, uh -huh, the Imperial German crown, but it isn't. It's, uh, it's uh, something like a crown helmet. Yeah, you can see. And uh, the cross on top is crooked. Uh, nice one. It wouldn't uh, surprise me if this turns out to be uh, Imperial Tsaristic Russian. This really is uh, very strange. Look at that. Um, remember the the lid of the snooth snooze thing I said um, now I found uh, a few hours earlier and now I'm perhaps whoo, good hundred meters away from that where I found the lid and it seems that I found the other half amazing isn't it it's uh, lucky me woohoo um, poo I will show you a picture of both uh, pieces. Alright, moving on. 